Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we will talk about hysterectomy. A hysterectomy is a surgical procedure to remove the uterus and, in most cases, the cervix. Depending on the indication for the surgery, a hysterectomy may involve removing surrounding organs and tissues called the adnexa of the uterus, which are the fallopian tubes and the ovaries. What are indications for a hysterectomy? Dysfunctional uterine bleeding or heavy menstrual bleeding. This is the most common indication for a hysterectomy in women of reproductive age. It can be caused by a variety of factors, including fibroids, endometriosis, and adenomyosis. It is a last resort if therapy with hormonal birth control, GnRH agonists, tronexamic acid, and endometrial ablation have failed to bring relief. Pelvic organ prolapse. This occurs when the uterus, bladder, or rectum drop down from their normal position in the pelvis. It can cause a variety of symptoms, including urinary incontinence, pelvic pain, and difficulty having intercourse or pain. Endometriosis. This is a condition in which the tissue that lines the uterus grows outside of the uterus. It can cause pain, heavy menstrual bleeding and infertility. Fibroids. These are non-cancerous tumors that grow in the uterus. They can cause pain, heavy menstrual bleeding and pressure on other organs in the pelvis. Cancer. A hysterectomy may be recommended to treat certain types of cancer, such as uterine cancer, cervical cancer, and ovarian cancer. Other indications for hysterectomy include placenta accreta, severe uterine bleeding after delivery, most commonly due to uterine atony, uterine rupture, molar pregnancy and chorion epithelioma, placenta previa, and placental abruption. If you want to know more about these different topics, make sure to see our videos in the gynecology playlist. What are the types of hysterectomy? There are different types of hysterectomy. There is the total hysterectomy. This is the most common type of hysterectomy. It involves removing the entire uterus and the cervix. The fallopian tubes and ovaries are not removed. Supracervical hysterectomy. This type of hysterectomy involves removing the upper part of the uterus, but the cervix is left in place and the fallopian tubes and ovaries are not removed. Hysterectomy with unilateral salpingo or forectomy. In this type of hysterectomy, the uterus, the cervix and the fallopian tube and ovary on one side are removed. Hysterectomy with bilateral salpingo or forectomy. In this type of hysterectomy, the uterus, the cervix and the fallopian tubes and ovaries on both sides are removed. We can also differentiate between different types of surgical techniques. There's the robotic assisted hysterectomy. This type of hysterectomy is performed using a robotic surgical system. The surgeon controls the robotic arms from a console in the operating room. The laparoscopic hysterectomy. This type of hysterectomy is performed using a laparoscope, which is a thin tube-like instrument with a camera at the end. The surgeon inserts the laparoscope through a small incision in the abdomen and then uses it to perform the surgery. Vaginal hysterectomy. This is the least invasive type of hysterectomy. It is performed through the vagina and does not require any external incisions. Abdominal hysterectomy. This type of hysterectomy is performed through a large incision in the abdomen. It is the most invasive type of hysterectomy 
but it is also the most common type of hysterectomy performed to treat cancer. How is a hysterectomy performed? The patient is placed under general anesthesia. Then the surgeon makes an incision in the vagina, abdomen or both, depending on the type of hysterectomy that is being performed. The surgeon then locates and disconnects the blood vessels that supply blood to the uterus. The surgeon then removes the uterus and, if necessary, the cervix, fallopian tubes and ovaries. The surgeon then closes the incisions with sutures or staples. Most hysterectomies are performed on an outpatient basis, but some patients may require an overnight stay in the hospital. The recovery time for a hysterectomy varies depending on the type of surgery performed. Patients who have a vaginal or laparoscopic hysterectomy typically recover within a few weeks. Patients who have an abdominal hysterectomy may require a longer recovery time, usually up to six weeks. What are complications of a hysterectomy? Bleeding is the most common complication of a hysterectomy. It can occur during or after surgery and it can be mild or severe. Pain is a normal side effect of surgery, but it can be severe in some cases. Infection is another common complication of a hysterectomy. It can occur in the incision site or in other organs in the pelvis. Damage to other organs may occur during the surgery. The surgeon may accidentally damage other organs in the pelvis, such as the bladder, ureters or intestines. Thromboembolic events can also occur after a hysterectomy. In this case, blood clots form, most typically in the legs, in form of a deep vein thrombosis that can lead to a pulmonary embolism. If the ovaries are removed during a hysterectomy, the patient will go into menopause pretty much immediately. This can cause symptoms such as hot flashes, night sweats and vaginal dryness. Some long-term complications of a hysterectomy include pelvic organ prolapse, urinary incontinence and dyspareunia. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.